About a month ago, I made a big poll of every LEGO Star Wars Battle Pack ever made and then got my community to vote on which one they thought was best. And then I made a video revealing the top 10 to essentially find out what the community thinks are the top 10 best LEGO Star Wars Battle Packs of all time. The poll ended up getting a total of 2,597 votes, and ever since I made the initial video going over the top 10, people have been wanting me to go over the top 10 Battle Packs that are at the bottom of the list. So today, we're going to be going over what the LEGO Star Wars community thinks are the top 10 worst battle packs ever made. Out of a total of 2,597 votes across every LEGO Star Wars battle pack ever made, these are the 10 that are at the very bottom of the list. Hopping right into it, at the number 10 spot, with a total of only 8 votes, making up just 0.31% of the overall poll, is 75034 Death Star Troopers from 2014. And I'm not gonna lie, I do not think this set belongs in the top 10 worst battle packs of all time, because I actually kind of like it, especially the big turret build. It's definitely Definitely one of the better battle pack builds that we have ever gotten because it's actually semi-accurate or actually mostly accurate to its source material, but unfortunately the minifigure lineup in this set is not the most outstanding compared to some other battle packs, and that's most likely why it only got 8 votes, but I have to say I personally kind of like this set because I think that big cannon is pretty cool. And then moving on to the number 9 spot is another battle pack that I don't think should be in this top 10, with a total of only 7 votes, making up just 0.27% of the overall poll, is 75226 Inferno Squad battle pack from 2019. Now I say I don't think this set should be in this top 10 because I think those Inferno Squad troopers are really awesome looking and some of the most unique Imperial troopers like it was ever made, but at the same time I do think that this set does not work very well as a battle pack in my opinion and probably a lot of other people's opinions as well. They should have released all these figures in a bigger set, preferably the Corvus, but LEGO probably wouldn't have made a set that big from a video game because it just wouldn't sell as well. But still, my point is these are incredible figures figures that are super unique, they just did not really belong in a battle pack. Anyways, next up at the number 8 spot is the first of many sequel battle packs, with a total of 7 votes, making up just 0.27% of the overall poll, is 75266 Sith Troopers Battle Pack from 2020. And I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys were expecting a lot of sequel battle packs to be on this list, just because they're not the best Star Wars movies, and the fact that this is from episode 9, and episode 9 is arguably the worst sequel movie, it just makes sense that this set did not get many votes. Although with that being said, I do think these Sith Troopers are pretty interesting, especially those Jetpack Troopers, they have really cool helmets. Although yeah, I agree this battle pack is just kind of easy to look over and forget about. Up next at the number 7 spot is a set that I really do not think should be in the top 10 worst battle packs of all time, with a total of only 5 votes, making up just 0.19% of the overall poll, is 8083 Rebel Trooper Battle Pack from 2010. Now I do kind of have a bias towards Rebel Battle Packs, just because I think the Rebel Troopers are really cool and we don't really get them that often, but I truly do not think this is in the top 10 worst battle packs of all time. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's obviously not anywhere near the top of battle packs, although I don't think it's bad enough to be the number 7th worst battle pack of all time. I honestly like the figures in this set, I think the troopers got really cool helmets, the pilot being in it is kind of random, it should have just been a 4th rebel trooper in my opinion, but still, my point goes, I think this should have gotten more votes, and I think the community is sleeping on rebel battle packs. Anyways, moving on to the number 6 spot, with a total of only 4 votes, making up just point one. 5% of the overall poll is 75166 First Order Transport Speeder Battle Pack from 2017. And I have to say, yeah, I agree, this is not a great battle pack, especially that speeder, it's really ugly looking to me at least. It has such a boring and flat design, but at the same time, it's also really messy looking and just doesn't look good. On the other hand though, I actually do kind of like the figures, especially that Flame Trooper, I think they have really cool designs. If you've watched my channel for a while, you know that I always say that the sequels are not the greatest movies, well, episode and 8 and 9. I actually kind of like episode 7. Anyways, the sequels as a whole are not the greatest Star Wars movies, but they have really awesome vehicle and trooper designs, and this is nothing short of that. I mean, the Flame Trooper does look really, really awesome, and I have this set, and that Flame Trooper is one of my favorite figures, actually. And then the Stormtrooper with that, like, baton and shield weapon, I forgot what it's exactly called, but he looks pretty cool too, especially the way that he holds it. Although, again, that speeder is really ugly, and, like, who cares about a First Order officer? And just in general, this is a sequel set, so it's just not going to get very many votes. And now making our way into the top 5 worst battle packs ever made at the number 5 spot with a total of only 2 votes making up 0.08% of the overall poll is 8015 Assassin Droids Battle Pack from 2009. And I'm not going to lie, I have a lot of nostalgia for this set. It was actually one of the first LEGO Star Wars sets I ever got for Christmas back when I was a little kid, so I definitely do have a soft spot for this set, although looking at it without any bias and objectively, it 
is not a great set at all. I honestly don't know why LEGO decided to make an assassin droid battle pack and not just a normal battle droid battle pack. I do have to say, these silver ones look pretty cool, but other than that, this set really doesn't have anything going for it. And it was also released alongside the famous 2009 Clone Walker battle pack and was supposed to be its counterpart, which has just never really made sense to me. I don't know why they couldn't have just made a normal droid battle pack. It's just kind of random that they would make an assassin droid battle pack as the counterpart to the clone battle pack, but that's what they did. And to this day, this set has just not held up very well. And honestly, it was pretty bland even for 2009. Moving on to the number four spot with a total of only two votes, making up just 0.08% of the overall poll is yet another first order battle pack being 75197 first order specialist battle pack from 2018. Now I have to say, I actually don't necessarily think this should be in this top 10. Yes, it is a sequel battle pack, but compared to others, especially some other first order battle packs that have been on this list already, it actually has a decent build and some unique figures, especially those first order stormtroopers. They look really awesome, especially the extra black on their helmet and their arms and those electric staff they have. I have to say these are some of the more unique first order troopers LEGO has made. And also that first order shuttle pilot has a pretty cool looking helmet. So again, yeah, I have to say I don't think this set is as bad as some of the other first order battle packs that have already been on this list. And I'm honestly not sure why it didn't get any more votes. Anyways, making our way into the top three worst battle packs of all time at the number three spot with just one vote, making up 0.04% of the overall poll is 75132 first order battle pack from 2016. And unlike the previous one, I actually agree with the placement of this one. I think this set is not the greatest. The cannon build is very bland and very boring looking in my opinion. And the fact that it has four different figures kind of just ruins this battle pack. It should have been three first order stormtroopers and then the heavy trooper or whatever it's called. But no, instead of just stormtroopers, we get two crew members, which is just really random and quite frankly kind of ruined this set. If it would have been all stormtroopers, I think it would have been a lot better. Anyways, making our way to the number two spot with just one vote, making up 0.04% of the overall poll is 75225 Elite Praetorian Guard Battle Pack from 2019. And honestly, I don't think this battle pack is terrible, but it really is kind of a mess. The Praetorian Guards are awesome, of course, and they have some really unique weapons that look pretty cool. Although it kind of has the same problem that the Inferno Squad Battle Pack has, and that's just that these guys would have fit better in a bigger set. I know they came in Snoke's throne room, but that set was like $90. I think they could have put them in like a $20 or $30 set at the time, and it would have worked a lot better than this battle pack because it's just kind of random. The build is really random. There's a random droid there. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like a training thing for them, how they're supposed to be like fighting each other or like practicing or whatever. But again, it's just kind of random for a battle pack. These guys would have worked better in a bigger set. Anyways, now moving on to the number one spot, the worst battle pack of all time, according to the LEGO Star Wars community. Out of a total of 2,597 voters, this is the only set that received zero votes. And it's honestly a set that I'm kind of disappointed to see at the very bottom of the list, and it's 75131 Resistance Trooper Battle Pack from 2016. And again, I'm disappointed to see this at the very bottom of the list. Obviously, I don't think it's the best battle pack ever made, but I think it should have gotten some votes. There's a number of other battle packs even on this list that I think are worse than this set like the Praetorian Guard Battle Pack I just talked about, the First Order Stormtrooper Battle Pack with the Cannon, and even the Assassin Droid Battle Pack. I think all three of those are worse than this set. And quite frankly, despite this being a sequel battle pack, I actually like it quite a bit. I think the speeder is really unique, and my favorite part about it is those helmets on those troopers. They look absolutely awesome, and I love how they have the folding feature where the mouth guard can fold down. It's really unique and something that we do not see on LEGO Star Wars minifigures very often, if ever. And again, the fact that this is the only only battle pack that did not receive a single vote is just kind of disappointing to me. Anyways guys, that is what the community thinks are the top 10 worst battle packs of all time. Let me know if you agree or disagree with this list down in the comments below. If you're new, please consider subscribing. And if you want to check out more of my videos, you can see them on the screen right now.